This message goes out to American soccer fans. Now, ordinarily, you would think a message from a soccer fan about why you should enjoy the World Cup more would go to those who don't. But I wanted to take a look at it from the other perspective and maybe figure out why those who have no interest in the game don't have any interest in the game. I have a hypothesis, or as most of my opinions on my radio show are called, a wild guess. Now, American soccer fans, listen to me carefully. Turn it down. Turn it down. Listen, I get that soccer is the world's game, but we as Americans, we don't do things the world does. We don't want to. We want to do them our way. We want to do them the American way. But that doesn't mean we can't be a powerhouse at the thing that everybody loves. Now, the big thing that soccer fans are trying to figure out is how do we make ourselves into that powerhouse? Most people think what you have to do is to make everybody care about the game. You've got to make it acceptable for our best soccer players to go play soccer and not get judged for it. So how do we do that? We do it the same way we do everything else, however the hell we want to. Let me tell you what I mean. What's the last piece of equipment that football and baseball and track and field stars lace up before they go and perform? Cleats. They're called cleats. They're not boots. Boots are what you put on when you go hiking. When you're going to go sports, you put on cleats. And it's okay to call them cleats. That's what they are here. Just because the rest of the world says boots doesn't mean we have to. They're cleats. And what do we play the game on? Sure, in Europe, it's a pitch. But here in the States, it's a field, it's a football field, it's a baseball field, and it's a soccer field. And it's okay to call it that. That's what it is here. And what do athletes wear to play sports? It's called a uniform. It's not a kit. A kit is something Boy Scouts make Pinewood Derby cars out of. Here in America, it's called a uniform. And it's okay to call it that. Look, if we want to win in soccer, we're going to win our way, the American way. Just because it's what the Europeans do or what the South Americans do doesn't mean it's what we do here. It's like that scene in Mighty Ducks 2 where Hans brings the Mighty Ducks jerseys and gives them to Team USA after they're getting their butts kicked by everybody else. Hooray, relevant 1994 movie reference. When we stop doing soccer things the way the rest of the soccer world does them and do them the way that we want to do them, we're gonna be awesome. And understand that the great thing about being American it means you can do whatever you want, however you want. So let's do it our way. And understand that if we do things our way, more people are going to come on board. And if more people come on board, more people are playing the game. If more people are playing the game, it's not hard to do the math here. We're going to find those superstar soccer athletes. And yes, we realize not everybody is going to want to join in. Soccer just isn't for some people. It's not what they like. I think lacrosse is bad. I've tried it multiple times. It's just not for me, but that doesn't make it a bad sport. It just means it's not for me. But over the first week of the World Cup, I have had a ton of people come up to me and say, since you've taught me the game and made me a part of it, I love what's happening. So let's make those people comfortable by doing soccer the American way. And more importantly, let's have fun kicking the world's butt at their own game doing it the American way. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you back here soon.